Google is a technology company with many applications. This includes Google Drive, Google Earth, Google Maps, Gmail and many more. However, Google is more known for its internet search engine. If you need information about anything, just Google it. But how do you do it and what is the best method to be successful with Google? To access the Google search engine, open your internet browser and go to google.com. You can also make this your default home page as I did. Then I can click on this home button from any other page to open google.com. In the center of the page is the search bar. This is where you type your search phrase. Press enter to see all the results. In this case, 24 million results were returned. Scroll down to find a link or click for a next page at the bottom. When you see a link that you want to follow, right click on it and select open link in new tab. This will allow you to go to that specific link but also to return to the page of all the links to select a different link. You can restrict the results to a specific type by selecting one of these tabs. By default all types of results are shown. If we select news for example, only a selection of the results will be shown, those which are somehow related to new sites. It is also possible to refine the results based on time. How current is the information in the results? Click on tools and select the time period from this drop down. When you do not get acceptable results, try to change your search phrase. When I enter this phrase, how to grow microgreens, the results will be different from when I enter best practice to grow microgreens. Structure your phrase as you would when asking a fellow human being. Experiment with different phrases. Let's explore a few syntax options for your search phrase to make the results more specific. When you put your search phrase in quotes, it tells the search engine to search for the whole phrase. For example, if I enter this phrase, Google will search for content that contains those three words in any order and 126 million results are returned. However, if I put the three words in quotes, it will search for that phrase exactly as you typed it and in this case only one result is returned. When you put just one word of the phrase in quotes, it tells Google the results must include the word in quotes. Without the word Apple in quotes, the results will include information about all phones. When you enter a phrase with ambiguous meanings, you can exclude specific words from the search to narrow down the results. If we want to get information about national parks, other than the Kruger National Park, we entered it as National Parks minus Kruger. If we just entered National Parks Kruger, you will see the very first result already includes the Kruger National Park. You can restrict the search results to links pointing to a specific website only. To see everything about the Kruger National Park on the sandparks.org website, add a colon and the name of the website behind your search phrase.
You can force Google to search for more than one word or search phrase at the same time by entering the word OR between the phrases. When you shop for a new gadget, it is good to compare different products. Using the word versus or VS for short between the two products will lead to websites that does exactly that. You know takealot.com is one of South Africa's biggest online stores. To see which other sites are similar, enter this phrase related colon takealot.com this will display a list of other e-commerce online websites. Several conversions and currency converters are possible with Google. Here are two simple examples. To get the meaning or spelling of a word, you can consult Google's built-in dictionary. Just enter the equal sign in front of the word. The quickest way to see the weather forecast for a specific city is to ask Google. If you want to see what time it is in a different city, just ask the time. Google is a very good tool to find out more about a person. Just enter the person's name. By adding the place of residence in quotes, we'll narrow down the search. When you receive a telephone call from an unknown number, Google may be able to tell you who phoned. Just enter the number. Happy Googling!